So now that we've already reduced the, fra reduced the fraction, uh, the only thing we do is reduce the y's. Is there more y's on the top or on the bottom? All right, how many more? So y to the fourth goes on top. Right? Hooray. Number two. 3 over 18, x to the 11th, x to the 14th, y to the 10, y to the 3. So this one is just another example. Here we have 1 over 6. There's x to the 3 on the bottom y to the 7 on top. So is that how it... Do I even need this one? No, I don't. So I can just make this y to the 7th over 6 x to the 3rd. And again, the reason why we change it from here to here is because that's how the ACT makes it look. Really no other reason than that. Okay, third one I want you to do on your own, please. 4 over 18, x to the 11, x to the 12, y to the 10 on top, y to the 10 on the bottom. Okay, so here's what happens. We get 2 over 9. Everybody agree with that? The x stays on the bottom. How many x's are down there? So we just leave it as x. We don't have to write x to the first. And then the y's go away. So earlier I said they go the way of the dinosaur, uh, which is actually a bad analogy because they completely go away and don't leave any trace of what of something that was there. Yeah, see? Witty. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it's my witty humor that keeps people awake. Yes? So uh, No. You look at where there's more of what. So if there's more X's on the bottom, then they stay on the bottom. Right? That's it. So if, if this would have been X to the 13th, the X would have been on top. Or X to the 13th on top, and X to the 12th on the bottom. Okay, moving on. Number four, if you remember yesterday what we did is we transitioned from what we just did to something like this uh, in parentheses. So that's what we're going to do again. And then we're going to square that. So here I get five squared. I get x to the 3 times 2, I get 15 squared, and I get y to the 10 times 2. So here I get 25 x to the 6th times 225, y to the 20. Is there anything else I can do? I can't. I can still reduce this fraction out front, which is 1 over 9, x to the 6, y to the 20. And I don't even need that 1. I can just leave it off and keep it as x to the 6 over 9y to the 20th. Was that fun? Yes. The correct answer is yes. What? All right. Number five, I want you to do on your own for me. Again, I want you to do 10 over 2, x to the 10, y to the 10 on top, x squared, y to the 12 on the bottom, and then we're going to take that all to the third power. Okay. Here's how we're going to do it. There's actually a really easy way to do this. You can actually reduce the stuff inside first, which gives you 
5 x to the 8 over y to the 12, or y to the 2. Take that to the third, which gives you the same answer as most of you all got. So, is that a little easier? Uh, it may be for you, it may not be. Do I care how you do it? So what's the other way to do it? The other way is to get 10 to the third, x to the 30, y to the 30, 2 to the third, x to the sixth, y to the 36, right? Which would give you 1,000 over 8. Right? And you would get the same answer that I got. Are either one of these methods better? No. Um, all, all roads to the same place. So, number six. Three over 18x to the 10th, y to the 11th. I'm going to square that bottom. Now, can I do what I did before where I reduced before? No, why not, Mitchell? Okay, because everything is in parentheses, right? So before we uh, reduced before because everything was in the parentheses. So here we get 3 over 324x to the 20 y to the 22, and this reduces to 1 over 108, x to the 20, y to the 22. Now, do I have to leave that one? Yes, yes because without it, there's not a top, right? And all the rest of the stuff is clearly on the bottom. Does that make sense? Okay. Fantastic. Once you do a number seven on your own. After this, we have two more to talk about, and then we will be done for today. Uh, yes, there will be homework. That is a lie. What would be my What would my class be without homework? So, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, the top stays exactly the same. The bottom is what changes. So that changes to 27x to the 12, y to the 30. Does the 5 over 27 reduce? No. No, it doesn't. So this is x squared on the bottom because there's two more x's on the bottom than there is on the top. And it's actually y to the 17 on the bottom because, again, there are 17 more y's on the bottom than there are on the top. Okay? Two more and we're finished. But obviously these last two are the trickiest of all. I don't know, 15, 30, somewhere between there. I'll tell you, most people got their homework done. All right, so here, x to the third, y to the tenth, x to the eighth, y to the fourth. I'm going to raise that to the negative two power. So this is a little bit annoying. So here, what we're going to do, we get x to the negative six, y to the negative 20 over x to the negative 16, y to the negative 8. So, anybody disagree with that? Okay. So what do we say we would do with negatives? We would make them positive by doing what? By switching where they were, right? So all the negatives on the bottom go up to the top. All the negatives on top go to the bottom. How many of you all remember doing this last year? Okay, good. 
So we have x to the 10 on top, y to the 12 on the bottom. Again, because there's 10 more x's than there is on top than there is on the bottom, 12 more y's on the bottom than there is on the top. The only thing tricky is this last one. So what happens if there is a negative in it to start with? So we'll see. You could switch it to the bottom right. It is eventually going to become positive. So uh, you would actually have to change it to y to the 23 on the bottom not y to the third, right? All right, but we're not going to do it like that. Um, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to do 3 to the negative 3, 7 to the negative 3, x to the negative 6, x to the negative 30, y to the positive 30, y to the negative 39. All right, that is going to change itself to 7 to the third. x to the 30 is going to move up here. y to the 30 is going to stay up here. y to the 39 is going to stay up, is going to move up there. 3 to the third is going to move down, as is x to the sixth. And then from there, I'm done. So now I just have to reduce. Uh, 7 to the third power. How much is that? All right, so let's, here's how you do it. 7 to the third power. It's 343. Over, how much is 3 to the third power? 27. We've done that a couple of times the last couple of days, so hopefully you knew that one. 24 more x's on top than there is on the bottom. All the y's are on top, so we just combine those together like this, y to the 69. What do you think? That fraction out front be reduced? All right, there's one way you could check, right? You could put it in your calculator. The other thing is that you knew that it wasn't you couldn't reduce it to start with, so you can't. You still can't. Okay? Everybody happy? Any questions? Good. What? 